Hi guys, so today's video I'll be changing the boot on my Renegade Backcountry X because they're ripped. So let's get started. Alright guys, so first things first, we're going to have to drill out five rivets on each side. So we have five on this boot, five on the other one. I'm just going to show you guys how to remove one boot and you guys can proceed and do the other boot. So, we'll get started doing a little time lapse, me drilling all the rivets out. So now we're going to remove this here. You're going to need a 5 8 wrench with a half inch wrench as well. You're going to have to put the half inch wrench under the uh, ball joint here to hold it. You have to hold your ski because the control arm wants to move now. Ski is free. So once you've done that, you're going to have to remove this here. Make sure to measure it so you get the same length when you put it back on. Alright guys, so I'm going to measure just the threads. We have five sixteenths of an inch. So just remember that. Well, might be different than a different model, but mine is five sixteenths of an inch. So we're gonna need, the next thing is gonna be two nine sixteenths wrenches. One to hold here. One to loosen this nut. Once that's loose, you'll be able just to unscrew this, no problem. And then your boot will slide right off. Just put that there for now. The boot's going to slide off. There you go. This is where the tear is. We're replacing it with a brand new one. Alright guys, so I got the boot off. You're going to have to snip tie wrap off okay there's a rubber piece inside here that you're gonna need to reinstall on your new boot okay it's just like a bushing it's gonna slide on here I guess for prevent to prevent it from wear and tear all right so now that I have my boot the tie wrap and the rubber or plastic bushing Gonna insert that. Might give you a little bit of trouble, but with persistence you will get it. So now you can put your tie wrap around it. Tight it up as much as you can. That's it. I'm going to snip it off. There you go. One side's almost complete. We just have to put, push out our rivets from the frame to inside. And then we'll be able to put our rivets back. All right, so I have the five rivets, as you can see. I'm gonna punch them in. There's one, two, three, four, and 
Five. All right, guys. I use my vacuum to uh, remove the the rivets from in the belly pan because they're aluminum and the magnet won't reach. So I just go like this, reach in there, vacuum it up. From there through the boot, there it was. Ready to reinstall the boot. I have my rivet gun, my rivets, and my boot. Slide that on there. Just like that. Back here. Pretty good fit. Put one on the top first, or to the bottom, it doesn't matter, just to get it to hold there. There you go. Oh, yeah. There's one. And so on. There you go, our five rivets are installed. The bottom one, if you have a skid plate, if you have a full skid plate, you would have to remove your skid plate, but in my situation, I was good. I had to angle it a bit. Rivets in there, solid. Now I just have to reinstall my uh, ball joint. We'll be good to go. I just screwed it back on. I measured it, it's at 5 sixteenths of an inch. Tight, tighten it back, there you go. Now we can put your ski straight. I'll just show you guys before I put it away. It's at the same measurement as when we took it off. This washer goes up top. You need your wrench and your five eighths, your nine sixteenths and your five eighths. Thanks for watching guys, go like and subscribe.